This is lesson 35 in module 3. In this lesson, we'll be multiplying two digit multiples of 10 by two digit numbers using the area model. Let's start with the problem 30 times 25. As we've done before, we can decompose 30 into 10 times 3 times 25. And then using associative property, we can group the 3 and the 25 together. We've done these area models before where one of the factors is a single digit. So let's write an area model for 3 times 25. One of our factors is 3. The second factor is 5, and we're going to decompose it by units. 2 tens is 20, plus 5 ones. Then we'll find the product by calculating the area of each of the rectangles. So 3 times 20 would be 60 for the first rectangle. And then for the second rectangle, 3 times 5 times 5 is 15. So 60 plus 15 is 75. And then we're going to multiply by 10. So 75 times 10 would be 750. So our product would be 750. Now we're going to do a little bit different area model so we can do this all in one step. We're going to do the same thing we've done before. One factor is 30. And we're going to write it just as 30 because there's only units of 10. We don't have any one, so we'll keep them all together. Then we're going to decompose. 25 into tens and ones. And just as we did with the single digit factor, we're going to figure out the area of each of the smaller rectangles. So here we have 30 times 20, which in unit form would be 3 tens times 2 tens. 3 times 2 is 6, 10 times 10 is 100, so we have 6 hundreds, which in numerical form would be 600. Then for the second rectangle, length times width would be 30 times 5. In unit form, 3 tens times 5. 3 times 5 is 15 tens. And 15 tens is 150. So 600 plus 150 gives us 750, the same as we got before. But we did it in one step this time. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at 60 times 34. Let's draw our area model. 60 we keep together because it's just six tens. And we're going to decompose 30 into its units. Three tens plus four ones. And this time, as we figure out the areas, we're going to record them as partial products in our standard algorithm form. So 30 times 60 would be 3 times 6, 18, and 10 times 10 is 100, so we'd have 1,800. The second rectangle would be 60 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24 tens. So now we're going to record these partial products in our standard algorithm. And we're just going to add them together. So we get a total product of 2,040, just as we would if we added together the two areas here. So what we record in the standard algorithm 
comes directly off the area model. Let's look at another one. 90 times 34. Now this time, we're just going to visualize our area model instead of actually figuring this out. We're just going to think in our head what our area model would look like. So we're going to start by writing our problem in vertical form. And we think what would go here, where we're going to multiply 90 times 4. 90 times 4 would be 320, 360, I'm sorry. Then we're going to think of our second rectangle, which is 90 times 30. That would be 2,700. Then we're going to add them together to get a total product of 3,060. Now we're going to try this with our problem set. So the directions say to use the area model to represent the following expressions and then record the, the partial products and solve. So let's do the first one together. Our first factor is 20. And we leave it as 20 because it's just two tens, only one unit. And the second one is two tens and two ones. And we write it here vertically. So we're going to figure out the area of our smaller rectangle first. 20 times 2 would be 40. We we'll record that as our first partial product. And then 20 times 20 would be 4 times 4, 10 times 10, 400. We we'll record that as our second partial product. And our total product is 440. Stop the video and try number two. Okay, for number two, our first factor is 50. Our second is 41, which we're going to write as four tens and one one. We're going to figure out the area of the smaller rectangle first. 50 times one is 50. 50 times 40 would be 2,000. And adding them together, we get 2,050 as our total product. Try number three. Okay, first factor is 60. Second factor we write as 70 plus 3. Our smaller rectangle is 60 times 3, which is 180. Our larger rectangle is 60 times 70. 6 times 7 is 42. 10 times 10 is 100. And we record our second partial product, add them together and our total product is 4,380. For number four and five, you're going to draw the area model yourself and then record the partial products vertically. So stop the video and try number four. Okay, for our area model, we have 80, and then we have three tens, and two ones as our second factor. Writing the problem vertically, we figure out the area of the smaller rectangle first. Um, 80 times 2 would be 160. The second one would be 80 times 30, which would be 2,400. And our total product would be 2,560. Pause the video and try number five. Okay, here's our area model. 70 
times five tens plus four ones. Our smaller rectangle would be 70 times four, which would be 280. Our larger rectangle would be 70 times 50, which would be 3,500. When we add them together, our total product is 3,780. Now for six through nine, we're gonna visualize the area model, not draw it, and then solve the problems numerically. So stop the video and try number six. Thirty times sixty-eight. So first we're gonna visualize the area of the smaller rectangle. So we'd be doing eight times thirty, which would be two hundred and forty. We'll visualize the area of the larger rectangle, which would be sixty times thirty which would be 1,800. When we add them together, we get 2,040. Try seven. We have 60 times 34. The area of the smaller rectangle would be 60 times four, which would be 240. The area of the larger rectangle would be 60 times 30, which is 1,800. If we add them together, we get 2,040. Try number eight. 40 times 55. The smaller rectangle would be five times 40, which would be 200. The larger rectangle would be 50 times 40, which would be 2,000. Adding them together, we get 2,200. And finally, try number nine. 80 times 55. The smaller rectangle would be 80 times five, which would be 400. The larger rectangle would be 80 times 50, which would be 4,000. We add them together, we get 4,400. And that's the end of lesson 35.